Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here I have the Gundam 00 Diver from the new Build Diver series. Um, I'm really excited to go ahead and start on this kit. I'm hoping I can build this today, uh, at least by the end of tonight, and then either by really late tonight or by tomorrow morning, go ahead and get this review up. Uh, but I wanna go ahead and do an unboxing and kinda of just give my thoughts and impressions and kinda of the plan of what I'm gonna do for this model. So first and foremost, uh, the front cover, it looks okay. Um, I mean, it really does have the kind of build fighters slash build divers kind of theme. Um, you know, it, it is what it is. I, I really don't mind it. It's okay. And at least this time, we don't have that giant, um, you know, decal like imprinted on the front cover saying, hey, um, the anime is coming out on, you know, this day in April. So that's a good plus. I really want to go ahead and just uh, have a box art of this guy right here. Um, other than that, the box art looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and move on to the sides. So right here you can see the different weapons that it has. It does have the GN Sword 2, uh, which is pretty good. You know, it does have two of them, so that's always a, uh, that's definitely a plus. And you can see right there in the corner, it does have different hands um, that can actually hold different types of weapons uh, from other mobile suits, as well as have the open palm, which is really always a, a welcome addition to any kind of high grade. And over here you just see the lineup for the new models that are coming out uh, a little bit later on this month, but also the H2 Magnum, that one's already released. So this is one thing I, I find kind of weird. Um, this one has triple O, and the first, like, the first line is technically the H2 Magnum because that actually has um, the double uh, O one. So with that one being number one in the series, this one being zero, I just find that a little bit odd, to be honest. Okay, so here's the front and rear shot of the kit. And then right there you have pretty much a uh, synopsis of the mobile suit as well as the Gundam series. This does retail for a thousand yen, so let's go ahead and see if the overall price is actually worth it. Okay, and here is runner A. Uh, one thing I can say about this, which is really awesome, is that all these clear parts are actually uh, pretty much clear green. Um, I, I did hear something about them being in clear green, uh, but at the same time, I was still kind of skeptical, so I went ahead and bought some clear green paint anyways. Uh, but it's actually really awesome that that's all gonna be uh, pretty much clear green, so I'm not really gonna have to worry too much about painting those uh, just for a straight build of this. Um, whereas everything else is pretty much you know molded in gray, you got your red, uh, and you also have your yellow. So there's actually a lot of great color separation on this, uh, on this kit so far. Okay, and here's runner B. Uh, the one thing I can already tell that I'm really gonna have to paint is gonna be the uh, GN drives. I'm gonna have to put some uh, some green around that just because you know I like my GN drives to look like they're pretty much being active. Uh, everything else looks pretty much this, exactly how it should be. I don't, I'm not really seeing much of a necessity except for these uh, GN blades. I might paint some uh, some black right inside there, or I might do green. Not really too cer uh, sh certain yet. And then right here on the V fin, I, I don't know if this is the one that's going to be used. Uh, I, I don't I don't think so. But uh, whatever the V fin is, I'm gonna go ahead and do a clear red on that. And right here we have Runner J, uh, pretty much a nice gray plastic that has all different type of hands. Uh, these hands look okay at best. Um, and this trigger finger is like abnormally large. Um, I don't know if that's just me, but that, that's a pretty large uh, index finger. So um, other than that, I like, I like the open hand. I'm always a fan of these. Uh, but when it comes to some of these hands, I'm not really too much of a fan of. Uh, but I guess that's fine. We'll go ahead and just see how it uh, actually works. Okay, and here's runner H. Uh, runner H looks pretty good. No you know, real issues here. Um, I guess these these actually might be the GN drives I'll use. I'm not really too too sure, um, but whatever GN drives, I'm definitely gonna put some uh, some green on that just to kind of bring out the color on it because I don't want an all white uh, GN drive to be honest. All right, and here's runner I, just a lot of blue. Uh, I'm not really too sure. I'm actually I'm pretty sure this is all gonna be used because uh, I know there was a little bit blue. Actually, there was none. <laughs> I thought it was blue on, on any of the other parts, but I guess these are only blue, so more likely all this is gonna get used, but I'm not really seeing any places that um, really need to be painted, so that should be a good thing. Here we have Runner K, just some more uh, clear green parts, which I'm I'm pretty sure this is gonna be on the side of the head, and uh, yeah, I think this is all the, uh, the head parts. And you get your standard poly cap sheet, and you get a pretty decently sized uh, sticker sheet. I don't know how much of this is going to be used, uh, just because it looks like some of these, um, looks like they might borrow from the actual um, 
original 00 uh, Gundam kit. We'll see, but it, you know, all this is going to be colored. I'm going to color that gray, I'll color the, uh, the red, the eyes, and then all this uh, green right here. Now, of course, you do get some promotional stuff with the Gundam, uh, Gundam Builders World Cup, which looks pretty good. Uh, nothing really uh, too interesting on the back. I think it's just pretty much directions, uh, or actually maybe just kind of like the categories and such, uh, and maybe requirements for the actual uh, GBWC. But I'm pretty excited. Hopefully, I, I'm actually able to go. And I think this is the actual um, time period that the contest is going. Now, this is something that's... I'm not going to say it's new, uh, but I, it's never been in this kind of pamphlet form. It's usually one big sheet, or it might be like a, a giant like booklet. Uh, but this is a little smaller booklet, but it kind of just shows uh, some of the lineup for all of Bandai pl uh, plot models. So obviously we got the uh, Bill Diver stuff coming out, the new F91, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, the cr uh, cross silhouette SDs, which I'm buying every single one. Uh, don't really care about Ariel or Ariel, whatever. Um, and then Piccolo from the, uh, I think it's the uh, figure eyes. I'm, I'm not really, too, uh, I forgot what the Dragon Ball Z line is, uh, but I have built one and they're pretty good. Uh, right inside here, just gotta get, you're gonna get some character information for the series. Over here, you're gonna get some um, more of the Gumpla lineup. So I'm pretty much getting everything here except for this Kapool and except for that uh, Beam Master GN. I'm not, too fond of these two things, but I will be getting um, this guy, the Red Beret, and then the Cerave, whatever that one's called, and then the uh, GN Ogre. So, well, GN, GNX Ogre, Jinx Ogre, however you want to call it. Uh, over here, just like I guess a little bit campaign going on for uh, the high grades, just some weapon sets that's uh, already been out before, so I guess they're just reissuing it. And then over here, just kind of showing you the customization that you can have with some of the kits and uh, some of the parts. Here's more of the Gunpla lineup, which looks pretty awesome. Uh, definitely getting the Leo. I'm getting. I'm, I'm going to get the Tall Geese, getting that F91, getting the um, Vigera. I think that's how you pronounce it, Vigera. Uh, the RA100 and then I guess they're just showing some uh, stuff down here uh, and also just some SD stuff. Now you do get some Haro action that's going to be coming up. Uh, what's the date on this? Can't really find the date but I'm pretty excited about this because uh, I want to get a couple of these at least um, and just paint them up because they look they look pretty cool and I, I, at first I really wasn't going to get them because I already have a Haro but having a smaller model version actually sounds pretty awesome. And here they're just going to talk more about the cross silhouette. Uh, I believe these are coming out in June, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I'm just, I'm super excited to go ahead and get my hands on these, especially that uh, cross moan. That's the one I'm kind of more excited about. But I'm also pretty excited to get the uh, the original Granddaddy one, since I just love that um, kind of like super robot looking um, SD style. And over here you got some uh, online hobby shop as well as the Gundam base stuff. So uh, I'm not really too sure what all that stuff right here is. I guess if you buy these models, then you get things. I don't, I don't know if you get coupons or whatnot. Uh, but I do want that uh, that ghost crossbone. That's kind of something I have on my radar. And then some of the things that's going to be over the Gun Gundam base, which I do want that uh, that nice little unicorn right here. And the Figure Rise Labo, don't care. Uh, figure Rise Standard, that's what the Dragon Ball Z line is. Uh, there are definitely a lot of these I want, but I'm kind of just holding out. Uh, not really too interested in the Figure Rise mechanics of these guys. Um, I don't know what the hell that is. And just kind of like, I guess, toys. Uh, and then that's it, I have no idea what this is. And looking at the manual, you can go ahead and pause it right here if you want to go ahead and read all that. But the manual does look pretty good, nothing really too um, exciting. You got some color right here. It kind of just tells you what to do with the hands. Um, regular, pretty much instruction manual stuff. And then on the back over here, kind of just gives you the origins. Like, hey, this came from the, uh, the Double O Gundam, so that's the material used. Uh, tells you about the, the different weapons and all the color guide and everything, and then the new lineup. So with that, guys, uh, that's it. I'm definitely excited to go ahead and start building this tonight. Um, definitely expect this to get finished probably tomorrow morning sometime. Uh, but that's it, guys. Definitely thanks for watching. And uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you want to go ahead and check out more reviews and just check out what's going on over here in Japan. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.